All right, so we're here with Razor Rob, the latest blog, man. <laughs> and uh, one of the things I wanted to hit on with you is uh, Ben Henderson and Don Cerrone, who you're very familiar with. You had yes. a crazy ass fight with him. Yes. Um, they're going to be fighting for the interim WEC lightweight title coming up real soon. And uh, what are your thoughts about that? Jamie Varner's been hurt. He's not able to defend the title. The WEC obviously wants to. Uh, to have a title fight to keep that championship going yeah and jamie's had a lot to say about that he's saying whoever wins that that's just a paper champion doesn't even count yeah jamie jamie likes to talk if you, have, if you guys haven't noticed he loves to run it i think that's part of his whole little thing is he likes to just get in there and you know and talk it up but uh if he did more fighting than he did talking it'd be you know a lot better for the fans and for everybody i think um i i think that uh Cerrone's definitely, you know, he when we fought, it was it was a, uh, you know, for its contendership, and that kid's a scrapper, you know, and he's I think he's still undefeated, so the kid every time he fights, you know, he's definitely deserves a title shot, and uh, you know the one that he had with uh, Varner last time, I think he got you know he got a little ripped off with the he didn't need me in the eye last time, so I think uh, you know I think Varner's like trying to talk just to try to get him hyped up and trying to get him mad, maybe get him out of his game. But I mean, at this level, everybody's you know, everybody's a professional. When you, when you talk about, it, does that even work at this point? I mean, when when you're a, a a fighter at this level, I mean, you guys have gone through all the smaller shows. You're now in the big time. Can somebody get you out of your game by by just talking trash, or, um, or does that even work? I God, I hope not. You know, mm -hmm. I hope at this level you've you've gone beyond that. And um, speaking from my own personal experience, yeah, that that can't really get you out of your game. If anything, it's going to motivate you a little to want to smash the guy that much more but yeah you know you, you can't at this level you can't be you can't be scared of the guy you can't look at a guy and go oh he looks big or man i think he's really good but you know at this level you know everybody's you know just you know they've they've, they've beaten some heads in to get where they're at you know, yeah. they're, they're at the top of their game it's for wc for ufc so um yeah i don't think that should bother anybody but it, i think it's kind of trying to keep varner in the in the loop somehow even though he has that belt and he's just hanging on to that thing with you know tooth and nail it's like, hey, you know what? You're gonna get in there. You're getting paid to fight. Get in there and do it. You know, get in there and fight. And, and, and if the if the fight's not going your way, hey, you know what? You got you know you got tomorrow to live for to fight again. You know, start coming up with you know timeout or my eye hurts or my tummy hurts, or whatever he said. So you were a little questionable about that fight that he had, uh, the first fight against Donald. I was. Yes. You were. You were. I sat right next to Donald's mom. I met Jamie's uh, sister and mom as well. And, uh, you know, everybody's cool. You know, at this level, everybody's cool. Well, at least the families are cool. Um, and I watched it. I thought, you know, it grazed over his forehead. I didn't think it hit him in the eye at all. And uh, But most of everybody in the uh, audience did, too, because they all started booing. I just walked out at that point. I was like, you know, I got a long ride home. I'm over it. But, uh, yeah, I think he kind of squeaks his way through. He's, he's mastered on how to, you know, to eke his way through these, these uh, last few fights. You know, and, and people don't want to pay to see that. It's going to make WC get a bad rap. So when he can't fight, you're thinking he's just trying to stay in the in the mix somehow. Yeah, uh, he's throwing his name around. He's talking smack on everybody. You know, everybody's okay. oh yeah, a lot of stuff to say about you. Tell him to say it to my face, then. You know, what mm -hmm. I mean, let's just do this in the cage. I don't want to hear about it. I'm gonna talk about it. But I think people are catching on now. They're like, hey, wait a minute, that guy seems uh, he's calling time out. His tummy hurts. You know, There's timeouts in fights. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, now there is apparently. Um, now talking about that fight for the interim title. Uh, Donald Cerrone, like like you said, you know very well. <laughs> I mean, yeah. intimately. <laughs> and uh, Ben Henderson, he looks like uh, you know, like he's a school teacher before he steps in the ring, and then he's crazy man. Um, that, that, that should be a great fight. That yeah. should be that should be a great fight. Um, you know, we're, I think Cerrone's definitely going to test uh, Henderson's grappling skills as far as you know submission defense and all have what have you. Um, that looks to you know be a great card. That looks to be a great fight. So. Um, I definitely think Cerrone, you know, needs to be up there fighting for the belt, or if not have the belt at this point. Yeah. Yeah, and I can't wait to fight either one of those guys just, you know, to get back in there and have fun. <laughs> and uh, now for uh, this uh, last week, we had UFC 100. It was a milestone for MMA for the UFC. Um, they had the UFC Fan Expo. I don't know. Were you up there for any yeah, of that stuff? I, uh, what what I, were you doing? I was out there signing autographs at the uh, Fan Expo and at Hooters, the Punishment uh, Fight Shop inside the Hooters Casino. And uh, you know, I was I was stoked to see how the sport evolved. You know, it was it was it was breath. It blew me away to actually go. You know, to think back, back when I first started getting into it. You know, '96 and yeah. thinking, you know, I was just doing this to get peace of mind. You know, it was somewhere where I could go 
or where uh, you know where I could it was like you know pure serenity. Kind of. I remember one time I, I told my mom she she came to the gym to watch me train one time, and I yelled at her because she was yelling across the gym. You know, hey, what time are you done? And I'm like, hey, this is my church. I'm all, I'll be over there in a minute. I was trying to figure out how to use a double-ended bag at the time. Yeah. And I remember my trainer's like, hey, bro, you know, chill out. Don't be yelling at your mom from there. I'm like, dude, come on. This, I went over there. I'm like, hey. You know, like, this, this is my the, spot. Yeah, this yeah. is my spot. This is where, I, this is where I, I keep it together in here. And uh, just to think back and go, wow, you know, it's gone this far. You know, people, there were so many fans there that were, you know, were just like, no way. I can't believe it. And everywhere we went, it's just that racer, bro. You know, everybody was, there was fans. It was it was really cool to see the lines and the expo was so big. It was wild, wasn't it? Like yeah, just looking across an arena, or not arena, a convention center full yeah, of people. It, it, it was crazy. Yeah. I was I was happy to be uh, to be able to be part of it, you know? It was cool. And did did you get to go to the fight? Did you have a ticket? What was the deal there? Well, you know what? I went out there and I went out there with my fiance and I, and I had a few other friends, that couples, like you know, the other married couples that I went with. So I didn't want to try to, you know, hit up everybody and be like, hey, can you give me tickets for 10 people? <laughs> yeah. And I didn't want to be the one where, hey, I'm going to take off and go watch a fight. So I watched it at a friend's house. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, and it was cool. My new manager actually went here and I watched it at his house. What would you think about, uh, uh, well, first of all, uh, the Lesnar fight, what do you think about this guy? I mean, he comes in, he, this is his fifth pro fight, and yeah. he's already yeah. undisputed champion. I mean, what, what do you... Th- we were all trying to call the, uh, call the fights, and uh, Tito and I were sitting next to each other on the couch at, at my buddy's house, and we're like, well, I don't know. And I had called all the fights except for the lesnar uh, Mir fight. Yeah. Because I, I had bet on the, that fight the first time. I said, I think Mir will sub him. So then I'm like, yeah, you know what? Maybe, uh, maybe he'll get him again. And I kind of was like, you know, if, there was, if I was a betting guy, because I bet on it the first time and I won some money. Yeah. If I was like, if he was a big, if Mir was a big underdog, I would bet on it again for him to win. But man, I think Mir came in really good shape. That's the best he's looked in a while, like lean cut. But uh, I think that uh, Lesnar is just his his grappling ability. He's got such a fast shot. He's such a big guy, and that really plays a difference in on um, when you guys are such good grapplers. The weight difference. If you yeah. guys are equal, equal grappling ability technique then the weight's gonna play a, a difference he just sat on the guy and pounded him I mean, well he had crazy. his arm which was even worse he yeah. seat belted him it was yeah. holding his arm just pounding him in the face that was ridiculous yeah, yeah. but i didn't like the fact after the, the fact of we've gone so far with this with mma as a sport you know to get away from this is a barbaric thing this is you know two you know human cockfighting this is two you know prison guys going at it you know we've gotten so far from that and this is actually a sport you know legitimate yeah. sport to get to these guys are like you know he freaks out starts spitting everywhere and then he's yelling at mirror after like what do you think about that now like yeah. that wasn't cool you know what i mean the guy you just pound the guy's face in you know it was all hype to get the fight going anyways to begin with you don't need to keep it going after yeah, you don't the need fight to keep it going <laughs> i mean it was kind of funny what he was saying you know i'm gonna get on my wife for it. that was that was funny it's comical yeah. but i mean the other stuff the disrespect and that you know we're not in wwf it's not there's no hype to it so what did tito have to say because there was a lot of talk in the post-fight press conference um, you know, Dana talking about, you know, that's not the real Brock, this and that. And people were bringing up, you know, Tito was a villain kind of, you know, back when he was in the UFC. And um, what, what, I wonder what he had to say. About- he, we all, we just kind of looked at each other and we were just like, man. And I was like, that's a beast. And he's like, man, he's, and he's the one that pointed out he had his arm. He's like, he had realized yeah. he, had him, he had his arm too. And I was like, dude. But I started thinking off the bat. I, I didn't like the fact that that was going on. Mm-hmm. And I didn't like the fact that, um, I don't know. It was kind of, it was, I don't know, disconcerting the fact that the, you know, the sports evolved so much, and then yeah. these guys are, you know, he's freaking out like that. This looked kind of, to me, it looked a little barbaric. He spit, spit coming out of his mouth, he's like, ah, oh! and then he's like talking smack. I was like, oh, that's not cool, dude. You know, well, it's kind of hard not to look at him and think that guy's a beast. I mean, yeah. But then I started thinking, who can finish that guy? And I was like, oh, I bet you, uh, Minotaro can finish that guy. You know, because he's oh, he's unstoppable. And I was like, ah. Uh, you know, the true test is going to be how his submission defense really is against a guy as equal his size. So where where do we find that guy that's equal his size? Yeah, we'll find him. <laughs> we'll find him somewhere. <laughs> no, I don't know. I mean, yeah. the uh, the other thing we got uh, a huge uh, fight coming up pretty soon, uh, the Affliction Show, and then also uh, the biggest women's fight ever. I mean, it, it, I, I'm thinking boxing. I, I can't think of a fight that's bigger than Gina Carano against Cyborg Santos and. I know you've uh, trained with, with women fighters before. Uh, what, what, what do you think about a fight on that large of a scale that's being pumped so hard by Showtime? I mean, this is going to be a big fight. Yeah. Um, I, Main I, event, I, even over the guys. Yeah. You know? uh, I definitely, I don't know. You know, I have mixed I have mixed emotions on the, on the female fight. 
Really? What, what, what yeah. are the mixed emotions? That, I, don't is, is I don't know. I don't know. I've trained. I've trained with Aaron Toyo. She's yeah. my boxing coach at one point. You know what I mean? And, and I don't know. I, sometimes I watch him fight, and I'm just like, ah. And I don't want to say, you know, earlier I told my chick, you know, we were talking about that same thing we are talking about Aaron. Yeah. And I was joking when I said it. I'm like, God, ah, chicks need to have babies and be in the kitchen. And she didn't think I was funny. <laughs> I was kidding. But I don't know. I'm, I have mixed emotions about it. I don't know. I mean, mm. as, and as far as, you know, Dana White saying he didn't really like it at all, mm. that, you know, that's like you know, the NFL saying they didn't like, you know, some certain league, arena league, you know, then you're kind of done. You know? Yeah. But I don't know. I, I think uh, those two chicks are uh, – you know, it's going to be a scrap between those two. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting to watch. It looks like it's going to be amazing. I mean, they they both are action fighters. I mean, it should be exciting, yeah. right? Yeah, I think it's going to be pretty exciting. I heard that the uh, the Corano girl was uh, uh, overweight by quite a bit. So. Oh really? Yeah. So it should be pretty interesting to see how these these girls get down to to fight time. Get down to weight. Yeah. Yeah. And Cyborg's been training a lot out here too, right? Honey. That's what I heard. That's yeah. what I heard. Yeah. Um. The Affliction Show, are you going to be going out there to Honda Center to check that out? It looks like I, an exciting show. Uh, I probably show. will. I probably will. Yeah. You know, it's in the backyard, so I might as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that, that should be interesting. I'm always stoked to see, see fights at the Honda Center, too. Yeah, it's kind of fun to watch. It's like going to a concert, but no. <laughs> and so now you are, are going to be back. Uh, last time we talked, you said hopefully in November. November. November, yeah. And where, where does it look like that show will end up? I don't know where the venue's at. Hopefully it's in Las Vegas. <laughs> um, but I don't know. They they have these shows all over the place now, and I know that WC went international. So who knows? It could be in England for all we know. Yeah, you know UFC just signed with uh, Televisa in Mexico, so they showed that last yeah, show true. in Mexico. That's true. Maybe it'll be in Mexico City. We don't know. To be continued. So Razor Rob in Mexico. Hey, you never know. I'm down. <laughs> all right, brother. Well, thanks again for checking in, man. Really cool. appreciate it. For sure. Thanks. All right.